What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Now we've all seen the news that catalytic converter thefts are on the rise and have had a major spike given the cost of rare metals have gone up on the market. I don't want to become a victim of this crime so I'm going to go over all the steps of how to prevent this from happening on your Toyota truck. And right here we have a stainless steel cat shield made by Miller Cat. So without further ado let's go ahead and get this thing installed on the Tacoma. Here's the main components of the Miller Cat cat shields, and this is in stainless steel, by the way. They do have aluminum version if you want to save about 100 bucks. So it looks like this is the main bottom plate right here. Looks like a side plate and another side plate. Then you got a bag of miscellaneous hardware, and also looks like there's a special bit as well. And then we got a threaded locking tab right here, looks like. So that's basically all there is to it. So let's go ahead and start assembling this thing before we can throw it on the truck. Okay, so according to instructions, we want you to go ahead and flip this thing over because I believe this is the bottom side right here. The uh, way the fins are at right now and the Miller Cat is stamped right there. And this is the largest piece out of those two wings. And it looks like this one. We'll mount this side right there. And the smaller wing looks like it mounts right there. So let's go ahead and take the hardware and bolt these two wings up. Okay, went ahead and sorted out all the hardware. So what we want to do in order to attach these wings on the side right here, you want to get these small bolts. Put a lock washer on first, and then get a regular thin washer. Stack it on here. And that's basically the system we'll have in order to attach the wings on the side. So there's nine pieces of these. So we'll go ahead and put the wings on the side, and we'll put those bolts in with appropriate washers. Tighten it down. Now they recommend to use a quarter inch driver and I can't find that in my toolbox, so I got a quarter inch ratchet, so that's what I'm going to use right here. Now that we moved on to the underside of the truck, let me go ahead and show you what's going on here. So you got a cross member right here. This needs to be removed with these four 12 millimeter bolts right here. So go ahead and remove those. Also on the passenger side, remove this as well with the four 12 millimeter bolts. And right here is a cross member right underneath the transmission. And the kit includes this piece with threaded studs on here. So they want you to point the rounded part towards the driver's side. It's basically going to get an insert inside this cross member right here. So I believe this flat plate right here, you want these indentions pointing upwards. And I believe it sets on top of here. And the three long bolts will go in these three holes right here. And this top plate right here will hold it in place. So I'm going to leave this plate here for the time being. So we'll go ahead and take off the driver's side and passenger side cross members. All right, so I think this is gonna be an easier method. Go ahead and just remove all but one bolt for these cross members, just so these things are free right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sandwich the plate between this cross member right here and this brace, and then we'll bolt it in position, rather than trying to fight this plate by holding it in position, and you know, finagling all four bolts. So I think this is gonna be an easier method. So just leave one bolt in position on each side. Same thing here on the driver's side, just leave it hanging loose right now. So my next step is I'm going to go ahead and take the assemble plate, I'm going to put it upwards, and I'm going to try and sandwich between this cross member and this little brace right here, and then throw a bolt into it. The bolt obviously goes through the brace, through the plate, inside this hole right here. Once I got this bolt in position, we'll put the plate downwards, and then we'll go ahead and sandwich it between this cross member and this brace right here. we got to do that for both sides, driver's side and the bathroom side right there. So this should be the toughest part, so let's see what we got here. All 
sorry, shield is in position and got one bolt on each side on this reinforcement bar right here. Same thing on the passenger side. So it's basically snug right now. Now we need to go ahead and take these three long bolts right here, include with the kit. And then we need to go ahead and feed it through these three holes in the front and then feed it into that plate that we put on top of that cross member. It might be a little tough, but we'll see what we can do. So we'll feed those three bolts through these three holes and see if we can find that plate that has those threaded holes. So let's go ahead and get that started. Okay, now the shield is buttoned up forwards and backwards. This kit does include four security bolts. They will be replacing these OEM bolts and washers that we're holding on forwards and backwards for this reinforcement bar right here. Same thing on the passenger side. So I'm gonna go ahead, take one security bolt, put it in the forward position of the crossbar. Same thing on the back side of the crossbar, put one security bolt in there. But before we do so, since these are stainless steel bolts and those bolt holes are going to a steel frame, it's best to use some anti-seize. So put a little bit of anti-seize on the threads of each of these bolts before you go ahead and put it into the frame of the truck. And then you can go ahead and put it in position and tighten things down. So let's go ahead and get these four bolts in. Okay guys, we've got a small issue here. Now the bolt with the kit, as you can see, this is a five star security bit. And the bit that they included is a six star security bit, which is quarter inch. So I went ahead and reached out to Miller Corporation, told them the situation, include the picture in the email, and hopefully they'll send me the correct bit. Cause I can't use this six star security bit on this five star bolt right here. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna have to use my 12 millimeter bolts that came on the truck. So hopefully the bit will come pretty quickly here. All right, so I'll go ahead and put the four 12 millimeter bolts back onto the bars here and wait for Miller Corporation to send me the correct bit and then I'll swap out the screws. All right, a quick phone call to Miller Cat, explain the situation and a few days later, receive the correct bit in the mail. So as you can see, this is a five point bit right here with a hole in the middle. And this is the bit that was included. This is a six point bit with a hole in the middle. And as you can see here, the security screws I included. This is a five point with a hole in the middle. It locks in there pretty well. So now we can go ahead and put these bolts up on the other side of the truck and finish the job. Alrighty, the Miller stainless steel Caliber Converse Shields finally installed on Tacoma. Let's go ahead and take a look. And that right there, folks, is what it looks like from the other side. It's obviously visible from any potential thieves. So let me go ahead and show you guys on the passenger side. And there's a view from the passenger side. As you can see the imprint with Miller Cat stamped right inside there. And it's properly vented. So no worries of overheating. It looks pretty good and I'm glad I went with stainless steel. They also sell an aluminum version, but stainless steel was an upcharge and that's known to last longer. Alrighty guys, that wraps up the installation of the Miller Cat stainless steel catalytic converter shield. Now the process is relatively easy. However, I ran to a hurdle where Miller Cat sent me the incorrect bits, but they stepped up to the plate and sent me the correct bits and they arrived really quickly. Now I understand it was a mistake by Miller Cat, 
and I'm glad they stepped up to the plate and sent that bit real quick. So thumbs up to Miller Cat. Now, many of you guys might be asking, well, if I've got car insurance, wouldn't the catalytic converter theft off my car or truck get covered? Well, actually, yes, it will, especially if you have comprehensive. But your deductible is going to be 250, 500, 750, or above, and I really don't want to deal with that. Plus, on top of that, your vehicle might be out of service for a few weeks while they wait for parts. Plus, on top of that, if the catalytic converter thief is underneath your car or truck and does some additional damage that isn't discovered, I don't want to deal with that. So I got more peace of mind having this catalytic converter shield installed in my truck now that it's installed. Now, if you guys have any specific questions on the installation of this Miller Cat Cali Converter Shield, please feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to answer all questions. And if you found this video helpful or entertaining, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.